today's video is going to be a monthly reset video to reset and prepare us for April. I cannot believe that it's already the end of March, honestly. This month went by in a whirlwind, but I'm gonna share with you guys my usual routine to kind of reset myself, get ready for a new month. And for myself, I actually have been following the 12 week year mindset. So it's basically just like in the business world where you separate the work calendar year out into quarters. So for me, that means January, February, March was one quarter. And I'll share with you guys my goals that I had for those months and the things that I was working on personally and my own personal life during that time. Um, and then I'm gonna prepare for April, May, and June for what I want to kind of get accomplished in those months and things like that. So I just wanna share with you guys all the things that I do to kind of plan and prepare for myself for not only the week ahead on a Sunday, but the whole month. So I have a list actually in front of me of everything that we're gonna get done today. Now, sometimes I will take these resets over a few days. So for example, I actually did kind of already clean the house on Friday and it's currently Sunday. So I did already get that done. So that was kind of something I did in preparation for the new month that I cleaned the house already. I already did the laundry. I washed the sheets on the bed on Friday as well. So I kind of did that just in preparation. Um, so all these things definitely don't have to be done in one day whatsoever, but this is my goal for today to prepare myself for the month. So the first thing is going to be the shower. So you guys know the shower means to exfoliate, to wash our hair and um, just kind of get ready and prep the skin. Um, and then I'm also going to be doing my self tanner. I do this every two weeks. I do my um, self tan foam and I'll show you guys the brand. And then I'm also going to be doing some teeth whitener. I'm in a wedding soon, so I want my teeth to be as white as possible in the photos. So that's going to be one of the things we're going to do as well. I need to repaint my fingernails and my toenails. I do that monthly. I paint my toenails every single month. Um, I feel like that's often enough for the toes. I don't. I don't wear a lot of open-toed shoes, so it really doesn't matter, but my nails I do uh, every two weeks and I do gel polish, so I'll show you guys that. And then once all of that is done, I'm going to blow dry my hair and I do a blowout every single week um, on my hair. Usually I wash my hair twice a week, and so today I will be doing a um, scalp scrub and a hair mask. And then after my hair is a little dry, I will do a blowout. And then I'm just gonna be planning for the month as well throughout the day. So planning content for all my socials, planning for my personal life. I will fill out my calendar this month for what's coming up, what I should look for, just things like that. And then also kind of prepping for work. I'll usually do this like on the Monday or Friday before the month starts um, and plan out kind of what the big things are coming up for work and what I need to prepare for, what I need to be doing. Um, in the month to prepare for the end of the month, things like that. So yeah, just gonna be doing a lot of planning, but that's gonna be our monthly reset. So first thing I'm gonna do is hop in the shower. I just went to a Pilates class. I am super sweaty. It was intense. I went to a solid core class with some friends. If you guys know solid core, I think in my opinion, it's the hardest Pilates studio. <laughs> so I sweat a lot. So I need to wash my hair, wash my face. Um, and then we will do self tanner. So let's go ahead and head on into the bathroom. just a little bit while we get ready for the self tanner. So I do like to tan my face. So first I'm gonna put on some moisturizer. This is the Creme Shop BT21 collab. 
<laughs> I picked this up at Ulta the other day, uh, but I do like to moisturize my face before I self tan it. And I use the same body tanner on my face. And I've been using this tanner for years and I've never had any problems. So, you know, use it at your own risk, but that's what I do. And then I am going to take this um, Victoria's Secret Pink Basic Vanilla and just put this on my joints just because that's where um, cell tanner kind of sticks. Usually it looks odd, so I'm going to put it on my hands. And usually I'll wash my hands after <laughs> cell tanning. So I put it on my hands, my wrists, my elbows, inside and out. I put it on my shoulders and my armpits. And then on my knees and my ankles. And for my down there area, I'm gonna use the Bikini Zone Medicated After Shave Cream. I love this stuff for down there, just to make sure I don't get any razor burn. And then for self tanner, I use this brand Mind Tan, and I use the olive color based tan, so I'm Italian, so I have olive toned skin. This one works perfectly for me, and it is an express tan. So it says you can use it one, two, or three plus hours. I usually only go two hours, but I think today I'm gonna try to do four because I wanna be really tan. I'm wearing a backless dress in a wedding next weekend, so I need to be as tan as possible. So I'm gonna do four hours today, and it did come with its own little mitt. So I'll just show you guys the upper body, but I do this all over my entire body. I put the self tanner on and then whatever's left on the mitt I will put on my face and let this sit for only an hour because this you know I don't want my face to look crazy and I'll be wearing makeup anyways but I do only put it on my face for an hour and then I wash it off on my face after that hour and I actually do self tan contouring which we'll get to later but yeah I contour my face with self tanner and it's actually it works really well especially as like a little bit of bronzer on the face um, throughout the week. It just looks really good if I'm not wearing any makeup. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest of my body and go change and then I'll come back and handle this wet hair. <laughs> sink and I apologize for the lisp. I am wearing the whitening strips but we're going to pick out a color for the toenails. Okay here is all of my nail polish that I store. This is all the gel for my fingernails and this is all just regular polish that I've collected over the years. I think I have this one on my toenails right now and it's honestly a little too nude so I'm going to go for something a little bit either darker or I could go sparkly. Super pink go white definitely not red this is almost like too bright pink okay so my options are baby pink this like champagne shimmer or white honestly I think I'm gonna go with the white so and as you can tell I buy all of my nail polishes from TJ Maxx and Marshalls but yeah I'm gonna go with this white from OPI in the shade it's in the cloud <laughs> Okay, I just spent the last hour doing my toenails. I just got all of the old gel polish off my nails. I'm gonna give them a break for a minute and go eat a snack. It's basically lunchtime. So I'm gonna reheat some fajitas, or not fajitas, quesadillas that I had for dinner last night. And we're gonna take a little break. Hello guys, 
guys. So it has been two hours, so I just washed my face and then reapplied my moisturizer. And now I'm gonna go in with the same Mind Tan. And I'm gonna take this little brush that I have. It's from Crown Brushes, but like I like that it has this like tapered uh, point at the end. And this is what I use to do the contouring. So I basically do like the three, you know, like when Kim Kardashian, her contour kit came out, like she said to do the three. Oh my gosh, you can't see me. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I just realized that my little phone holder stand was like in front of me in the mirror. But anyways, I take a little dollop, like the tiniest little dollop of the self tanner and I put it on my hairline up here um, right under my cheekbones and then I will also take it on my jawline and then just like a tiny bit right here on my nose I don't contour my nose regularly even with makeup but and then I take a tiny bit right here on my temples just to do like a little bit of shading so I'm gonna do that right now and I will leave that on for another hour and then wash it off come wash my face and then one last hour with the self tanner um, just on my body and then I will shower again but so far this routine is going really well I need to get to planning so I think that's what I will do with um, this hour that this stuff is sitting on my face I'm gonna go into my office on my personal computer and start planning for the week fill out my um, calendar with you guys and get all of that ready for next month and then I will also share with you what the 12 week mindset um, routine that I've been doing kind of means and what I've been using it as so let's go ahead and start planning I'm gonna set a little timer for another hour and let's go plan Okay, so I hope you can see this well, but um, I am currently on Notion.com. So I love this as like my scheduler planner. It's been so wonderful. So I downloaded this template for the 12 week year vision planning from Mind Your Social. So if you Google Mind Your Social 12 week plan. Okay, now that I found this for you guys, I will link it down below but basically you just click up here, duplicate, and you can make your own. So I will show you what my Q1 looked like. I didn't change these images because I felt like it just wasn't necessary, but let's go into my Q1. So I separated it into weekly planning and then weekly content planning just for Instagram and for YouTube. But Q1, my focus, I wanted to be on mindfulness and health. And this is a photo of someone in a yoga position. Um, just because I really wanted to focus on my health and my mindfulness and I feel like yoga is the best routine for me to learn that. So my goals for, it says one year goals, that means like your Q1 goals. So it was to establish a routine, learn yoga, mindfulness, financial literacy. I wanted to try my hand at bread making, which I did not do, and grow my social media accounts. So. Here is a breakdown. You kind of break it down by month and by top priorities per month. So for January, I wanted to focus on my social media, be more in tune with my mind and establish a morning routine. So from this, these three top priorities in January, you make your own list. So January's monthly strategy for the three top priorities. I gave myself a few strategies that I can do that would make sure that these three things happen. So for example, the easiest one to explain is the morning routine. So my strategy to establish a morning routine was to wake up every weekday by 6 a.m., was to be in bed every weekday by 10 p.m. And this one was not in relation to anything on my um, routines, but white my teeth. Um, my social media one was weekly planning, interact on socials for 10 minutes and daily posting. And then mindfulness was learn yoga with daily Peloton classes. So they actually have a program on Peloton, um, which I actually get with free, get for free with my work um, to do, to learn yoga basically. It was like a four or five week plan. Um, so I did that plan, um, re read for 10 minutes every day or listen to a podcast for 10 minutes every day and then journal every day, which I can probably say that I do journal every single day. 
I don't necessarily read or listen to a podcast every day, but I do still get up every weekday by six. Um, I am still in bed every weekday by 10. Um, I do practice yoga at least twice a week or once or twice a week maybe. And I do still try to post every weekday on socials. So that's January. So this was just a habit tracker to track every single day of the week. If I did stuff, I really didn't use it in March to be honest with you. So let's look at the January one um, because I did fill it out heavily in January. So that'll just give you an idea that I'm doing all the things that I said I would be doing. So that's what I did for weekly planning and then content planning. I also split it up into March, I mean into months and then weeks within the month. So let's do like February. So I had to record and then a breakdown of the days. I actually really like what I did in March where I made it into a kind of like column. <laughs> into a table format. So YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, I really don't really post on Sundays, but TikTok sometimes I will. And then the rest of the week, kind of planning out what I'm gonna post and then checking it off as I go. Same with this one. So this just really helped me stay organized this month. So we're gonna go into Q2 and start making this one. So Q2 I have kind of been brainstorming for a little bit and I definitely wanna focus on social and community. So for me, myself, and I, I work from home. I don't have that many girlfriends where I live and I want to feel a sense of community with where I live. I want to engage in volunteer organizations and professional organizations um, and just see where it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and finish filling this one out with my, um, my goals and I kind of wanted to separate them by personal health and financial and then uh, April, May, and June's goals, as well as their monthly strategies. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that out, and I'm gonna watch some, let me see a YouTuber I can watch, because I've been really enjoying like planning content, and, like study with me, and like all that good stuff. So let's see who I can watch. Okay, I'm gonna watch Adrienne Hill on YouTube. She's amazing. She owns her own small business and she's an expat from America. She lives in Korea right now and also travels to Hawaii. She's like amazing. So if you don't follow Adrian Hill, you definitely should, but she makes really motivating content. So I'm going to put something on Okay, I am complete with my Notion template for April, May, and June. So really did good here. Um, the next thing that I would do, but it actually is not April yet, would be <laughs> to replace this March background on my computer. Um, but I use the everygirl.com. Um, I use her backgrounds and she has not posted hers yet for April since it is not April yet. She usually posts it either like the day before or the day of the end of the month. So yeah, I would replace this ideally. Um, but yeah, I got all of my planning done, so that is great. Um, I'm actually gonna edit a few videos before I have to take off my self tanner, um, and then we will do the hanger. But I think the last thing left on the list is shower off the self tanner, do my hair, and also do my nails, because I'm just letting them kind of chill for a sec um, and be bare and naked. Um, I did put some cuticle oil on just to like have them re-nourish and replenish. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and edit some videos and then I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, we are back in the bathroom because it has been two hours now and I have to wash off my face tanner and then also the body tanner. So I'm just gonna pop in the shower real quick. You're just supposed to do like a lukewarm shower just to wash all of it off. And then I'm gonna come back and moisturize. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, one thing I did forget to do is to shave my mustache. So I'm gonna do that right now after I washed off the tanner and put on moisturizer and stuff. And usually I would use like an oil, a face oil, but I don't have any right now. So I'm just gonna use some aquaphor to like, 
as basically like shaving cream. Yeah, I usually shave my mustache about once a month um, as well as put my eyebrows, but I already did that a few days ago because I was just getting fed up with them. <laughs> so we're gonna take my little Japanese razor. I just bought this at like TJ Maxx or something. And sometimes I get like a little goatee, so I just got that too. So that's done. That was super simple and easy. So all that's really left, you guys, is to um, blow dry my hair and to do my nails. So I think what I'm going to do, since it is like 5 o'clock now, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do my hair and then eat dinner. And Ryan and I are going to watch some sort of movie or something tonight. And I will do my gel manicure while we're watching our movie. Now that my hair is done and I've successfully watched another episode of The Housewives of New York, I'm going to use some Living Proof Humidity Shield hairspray just to lock in my hard work because it is super humid here where I live right now. So, And then some whey hair oil. Now it is time for dinner and I'm going to do my nails and check back with you guys later. Okay, so nails are done and we are finished with our April reset routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, a little something different, switched it up from what I usually do. So let me know down below if you enjoyed that and what you are looking forward to most in the month of April. I think for me, I have two really big weddings going on, which is great. And it's also the start of crawfish season here in the South. So definitely looking forward to eating some nice crawfish and for the weather heating up. So that is everything for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Bye.